Hey, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a review of the Yoto player. If you're new here, my name is Tara and I am a mom of two boys, Lincoln who is almost three years old and Lucas who is 10 months. We purchased the Yoto player as an early third birthday gift for my son and I just felt like I had to make a video on it after we purchased it. So if you're interested in purchasing the Yoto player for a child in your life, then keep watching this video because I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about the Yoto player. Yoto player is a kid's screen-free speaker that is meant to be controlled by children. The audio is being played using physical cards, therefore playing only the content that you want the kids to be listening to. It can play stories, music, podcasts, and more. So let's get into what comes in the box. When you open up the box, you're obviously going to get the Yoto player. It comes with a magnetic charger, which I think is just so smart and easy to use for children of all ages. You're going to get a welcome card and a quick player guide. On the Yoto player, you will see it has a pixel display. Um, it has two buttons at the top, a slot for the cards, an on-off button, and a headphone jack. To start playing audio, all you need to do is put the card in, and to stop playing the audio, pull the card out. On the Yoto player, you can turn the left button to increase the volume. The right button allows you to change through the different songs or chapters that you're listening to. And one thing about this is that I never showed my son how to do this. I um, actually just gave him the Yoto player and showed him how to put the cards in. I never showed him what the buttons were for or how to change songs. And the next time I saw him playing with it, he was already changing songs to the song that he wanted. So he figured that out on his own. And because it has a pixel screen, it's able to display a image of like the song, so he really loves this one train song on one of his cards, and he skips through until he finds the train song. So I love that for children who aren't able to read yet, that it has that pixel screen, so it does show them an image of the song or you know, story that they're listening to. So setting the Yoto player up is very easy. All you'll need to do is download the Yoto player app to your smartphone and connect to Wi-Fi, and then you are able to control the content. One thing I really love about the Yoto player is the fact that it has your own blank cards that you can program whatever you want on there and it's very easy to do. The blank cards allow you to put your own music or any sort of audio recording that you have onto the card for your child to listen to. So if you don't see what you're looking for in their card selection, I think it is such a great thing that they've allowed you to create your own. I also love that the Yoto player can be used as a regular Bluetooth speaker. You can play whatever you want through the Yoto player just like any other Bluetooth speaker that you have. One of the things I love is that you're able to turn the Yoto player over and it becomes sort of like a nightlight and you can change the color of the nightlight from your phone. I love the Yoto player because it fits in with the Montessori lifestyle of children being in control and having freedom within limits. The reason why I started to look into a speaker of this sort is because we have some Google homes around our house and my three-year-old is always trying to interact with the Google. And um, if you have a toddler and a Google or an Alexa, I'm sorry if I'm setting any of your devices off right now, um, you will know that it can become very frustrating for them because you want them to have the freedom to maybe ask the device to play a song, but the device doesn't hear them or plays the wrong song. I love, love, love that the Yoto player gives the children this freedom to play whatever song they want while at the same time having the limits of the songs and audio that they're listening to being specifically chosen by the parent. So in my opinion on the Yoto player for pros, it is easy to use. It has a vast library of audio with customizable cards, great sound quality, and is screen free. And for cons, honestly, there are none. We have been loving our Yoto player. I think the only thing that could go even 
close to the con list would be that most of the cards or maybe all of the cards have a British accent um, but I also think that that's a great thing that I've been able to talk to my son about you know different cultures and different accents so it's also been a learning experience so I wouldn't consider it a con but I would put it out there as an FYI if maybe you're from the US or another country that most of the cards and stories have a British accent. That's my review on the Yoto player. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing because I make new videos every week. Thanks, bye.